What's going on, fellow humans and resellers and puppy lovers? It's his I, James, AdoptionAgency.com. And we're going to pull and ship, ship some orders. Um, I'm working on some things, but I'm going to have to make it a separate video of experiments I'm running and tell you what's going on. Because I want to make sure that I just ain't giving out a bunch of just confusing information. So I want to continue doing it like the other day i only had five organics sold uh, up until 8 p.m last night i only had two organics sold so i called ebay of course they couldn't do anything they didn't know anything couldn't figure anything out so i started running an experiment and then i was noticing some things so i'll get into all that in maybe a separate video maybe tomorrow or something after i go another day with these experiments just to give you a rundown of what I tried, what I did, and see the results from those, uh, doing those things. So, um, be on the lookout for that. So, I am playing with different things to try to help us get more sales with all the technical issues that's going on with the eBay site. And, obviously, nobody at the call center can knows what's going on or can help or anything. So, I'm trying to do things to figure it out, but it kind of stinks because I'm spending so much time doing this. And having to generate my own sales uh, by ending and selling similar and stuff like that when I should be concentrating on listing new items. So it's it's a pain in the butt, but I just wish eBay would work properly and do its job that we spend all these this money on fees to you know to pay for. But anyway, let's get into what sold. Alrighty. Foreman Folk Heroes Advanced Promo CD and it sold for $8. The Renegades of Funk, Funk, the Renegades of Funk. Promo CD single, Rage Against the Machine, sold for $10. Alright, we got this uh, Bradford Exchange plate of the Wolf, that sold for $9. Jamaraqua Light Years CD sold for ten dollars. All right, this was a little buyout from Streetside Records in Kansas City. What's up, Kale? Many, 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 many years ago, it cost me like five cents for the stuff there. What's up, Mister? And it sold for clearance five dollars. Fresno State Nike golf shirt, and this sold for eight dollars. All right, R H O Gamma Mizzou. Polo shirt. This sold for thirteen dollars. Going to Indonesia. All right, diggable, diggable planets. Reaching cassette sold for fourteen dollars. Whitney Houston. I want to dance with somebody. Cassette single seven dollars. Koto Music of Japan CD sold for six dollars. Chikara Healing Chance CD this sold for seven dollars. Altered State Dulce cassette. Or CD sold for clearance five bucks. All right, Gringo self titled CD sold for seven dollars. House of the Dead 2 Sega Dreamcast manual and disc sold for twenty two dollars. Yanni in Celebration of Life cassette clearance five dollars. On the Path Music for Walking the Labyrinth CD sold for seven dollars. Fireblade on Xbox sold for clearance five bucks. All right, Brave New Hope, Clarence CD, $5. Are you ready for a Dreamcast Live? Yeah. All right, if you watched my uh, Saturday Storage Locker videos, the video game one, you would have seen these three. So we got Sword of the Berserk, Marvel vs. Camcom, and Power Stone on Sega Dreamcast system. All three together sold for $151. Got a lot of 20 cassette tapes, sold for $24. Bogalusa Boogie. <laughs> All right, this cassette sold for $9.50. All right, 70s Greatest Rock Hits cassette, sealed, sold for $7. Tone Note, Cloaked After Dark cassette, sold for $4.50. Johnny O, Like a Stranger cassette, sold for $5. All right, right White Trash self-titled album. On cassette, sold for seven dollars. All right, E twenty eight, House of the Rising Sun. 
this set so far like nine fifty. There it is. Boom. So so for nine fifty. Zero tolerance. Fuel the fire. Indie cassette. Sold for twenty dollars. Linda Ronstan Adios cassette single. Clearance five dollars. Yanni, Dare to Dream cassette, clearance $5. Peter Mayer CD, sold for $8. <laughs> Martika self-titled cassette, clearance $5. All right, we got a Boys to Men tour concert program. This sold for $43. All right, we got two Dairy Queen manager pens, shooting star managers. Together sold for $21. We got the Dairy Queen Give Miracles pen. This sold for $10.50. All right, Dairy Queen Shooting Star Grill pen. Sold for $10. All right, we got two of the Burger King McGruff uh, cassettes without the slip cases. I may have already sold the ones with the slip cases, uh, but these sold for $5 a piece, so 10 bucks for both of them. We got this little girl's F Disney Frozen. Cap sold for seven dollars. All right, St. Louis Cardinals G3 Sports Vintage Pullover Jacket sold for ten dollars. Pittsburgh, Pittsburgh Penguins fitted hat sold for nine fifty. Low Country Machinery hat going to England sold for eight dollars. North Carolina Aquariums hat sold for six dollars. Cleveland Golf Hat sold for $9. Kentucky Wildcats Nike Hat sold for $10. Titleist Hat sold for $10. Nautica Hat sold for $9. All right. This cool Camping World's President's Club Hat sold for $10. New Orleans, birthplace of Jazz Visor, sold for 10 All right, St. Louis Cardinals World Series, Palm Winter Hat, and then this sold for twelve fifty. We got some kids Air Jordan 11 Flex. These sold for $21. This is a men's Gap t-shirt with the motorcycle on it. This sold for $6. All right, we got the Rams Reebok visor, sold for $10. St. Louis Cardinals cap, Bud Light Stadium giveaway, sold for $7. All right, the next Cardinals cap, sold for $8.50. This Cardinals cap, I took an offer for $4 on it. And this Cardinals hat, sold for, this is a women's Cardinals hat, sold for $8. So in one of my experiments, I turned off this 10% coupon. I turned it off four hours ago, and I still have listings showing up on eBay saying an extra 10% off with the coupon. So I really think this coupon thing is flawed um, because I had noticed some errors that I was getting on eBay when I was selling similar, where I was when I was listing them, I was having major uh, issues of it stopping and slowing down and only putting up half and then I have to refresh the page consistently to get everything listed. When I turned off the coupon, that error, those issues stopped. And now it's been four hours since I turned it off and I still have items that are reading their extra 10% off. So it really makes no sense what's going on with that. And it's not on all of them. All right, Frank Sinatra, We Small Hours cassette, sold for $11. U2 CD, clearance, sold for $5. Restless Heart, self-titled CD, sold for $6. Arch Bloodstock hat, sold for $9. All right, Nebraska Corn Huskers Sports Specialty hat, very nice vintage piece. Uh, took an offer for $45 on it. McClure Comets. Trucker hat sold for eleven dollars. All right, BJ Stone forty-five sold for seven dollars. All Star Festival United Nations unique record to aid the world's refugees. 
Uh, sold for clearance, five dollars. Are you ready for a CD cassette? Uh, yeah, <laughs> should say a St. Louis indie band lot. So we've got nine CDs and cassettes here, sold for ninety-five dollars, and they look all like independent St. Louis artists. So we got Social Blunder, Swing Set, Edwin's Friend, Long Shot. Stone Cutters, The Choice, Sugar Daddy, Room Full of Jimmies, and then the Sound Bites, which is a bunch of different local bands on it. Freeze the Hopper, Eli Stone, Neptunes. So, nine items, $95. You ready to go, baby girl? You ready to go upstairs? Vern's already up there. He's outside, one of the two. All right, so we're going to call it for the first half of the day. We'll come back down later this evening and get the rest. There's like eight more, and then hopefully we'll have a bunch of sales. Right? <laughs> Thanks, everybody, for watching.